the book Dragon Slayer. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I get it now. So 13 pairs multiplied by a cat's eye in, into seven stars brings forth the quadratic equation of moonlight. Then, of course, you have to divide by the tail of the two-faced hypocrite. But, subtract, wreck the hip, hypocrite, red times midnight, and voila, you have the rhombus origins of the Promethean. How fascinating. <laughs> I didn't know that was possible. But then again, I suppose I am learning new things every day. <laughs> Now, who do you suppose that could be? I live all nearly alone in the forest. I wonder. I wonder who that could be. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious in the grey house. A human. How long have you been standing out there in the rain? Oh, come in, come in, come in. Oh my goodness gracious, poor thing. You're soaking wet. Here. Sit down by the fire. Sit, sit, sit. We are going to catch pneumonia or hypothermia if you don't get one. Uh, here's a quilt. Let's get that draped over you. There we go. Don't worry. You'll feel much better once you're all warm and dry, I promise. Here, have a nice cup of tea. It'll drive the cold out of your bones in an instant, I promise. All right. Oh, terribly sorry, I should have cleared off the tea tray further. But there you go. Here, drink up. You deserve, deserve it. Oh my goodness. Poor thing. <sighs> mm, actually, I think I'll have a cup of tea myself as well. Luckily, I had one poured prior. <sighs> That's much better. I must say, you must forgive the state of the place. I wasn't expecting company, you see. My clairvoyance is sleeping at the moment. And yet, at the same time, I'm glad I left a second cup out. Because just because you are not expecting company doesn't mean you sh wouldn't be prepared in case you do get unexpected company. Like with what I did right now. And with you coming in, especially on such a dark and stormy night. And ah... Uh, Oh, right. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. You must forgive my conduct. You see, we Haku Takus are extremely wise entities, and as such, we often prattle on and on and on about certain things, especially when we're learning brand new things every day. Hmm? Oh, yes, I could talk your ear off of just about just about anything. About of the earth, up above, down below, and every other place in between, and I'm terribly sorry. You really must forgive my manners. My name is Adeline. Adeline Maria Sophia Contessa, the first and only of my name, and it is wonderful to meet you. What is your name? Ah, I see. That is a wonderful name, though you didn't have to add the false title. Your name suits you just enough. Hmm. How could I tell you were inserting a false title? Your left pinky twitched. It's possibly a familial trait that comes when you know you're lying, but there are, of course, are, um, other ways to figure out when you're lying, and I happen to know all of them. So, yes, but... It, again, as I said before, it is wonderful to meet you. Now, here, drink up that tea, and I'll see if I can get you some food. Some hot soup or something that'll drive the cold out of your bones even more. Because we don't want you getting hypothermia or pneumonia. That wouldn't be any fun, now would it? <sighs> the tea? 
It's actually a very special blend. I got it from a friend of mine over at their home for tea. You know of magpie harpies, yes? Good. Well, I'm friends with one of them. Good friends, in fact. And despite their knack for thievery, magpie harpies are actually quite pleasant. And... Anyway, so I'm with my friend and they took me over to their home for tea, where they live with their parliament, their mischief. Those are terms, of course, for a gathering of more than one magpie harpy, but I digress. And mm, they had tea. And this tea is actually very special because it is actually flavored with the smoke of aromatic tobacco, which I find absolutely fascinating. And fun fact, that method of tea is solely belonging to the magpie harpies. And it wasn't recently discovered until the 13th century in the Promethean Empire. Mm -hmm. The king's royal rogue actually was the first one to make it. And of course, the royal rogue was a very, very old and wise and cunning magpie harpy. And I just find that absolutely fascinating. And of course, you can taste the flavors. Absolutely impeccable. Huh. I may have to ask her where she got that tea because I'm going to want more of it when I run out. Huh. Now tell me, are you feeling better? Is the soup and tea helping? Well, good, I'm glad. Again, we don't want you getting a cold now, do we? And then, of course, this soup is an old family recipe. It's a take on stone soup, which the story behind stone soup is very fascinating. Believe it or not, it was the result of a storyteller, sort of, who came from a line of con artists on their great-great-grandfather's side and how they were able to convince the royal cook that they could make soup out of a stone. It's a very fascinating story. I think I have it in my library somewhere. Hmm? Oh yes, I really do know everything. And I and again, I'm learning new things every day. Mm. Mm. Like for example, I'm learning just how lonely I've been lately. Hmm? Oh, yes, technically I do live alone by myself. However, this old house of mine, uh, this old house of mine actually happens to be haunted on certain occasions. And more times than not, you can sometimes hear voices if you listen very carefully. They're very loud, very shouty. They don't mean any harm, though. They're eccentric, to say the very least. Huh, so tell me. What exactly brought you to be wandering around in the rain at so late an hour? Oh, so you were traveling over to Velamir and you ended up getting lost and then the storm came out of nowhere. And you tried to find shelter for the night. Oh my goodness. Well, I do suppose it is a good thing that you found me, rather than some robbers or some other unpleasant trees. But still, it's a good thing you found me before the pneumonia set in. Though, just to be on the safe side, I'll probably give you some medicine. A little elixir, just to fight off any potential illnesses. Oh, sorry. Oh, the tea bag of the special spice tea sometimes gets stuck in the pot. And it makes that sound. Hmm? What do I know about the Dragon King? Ooh. I know quite a bit, and I'm terribly sorry. The voices in my house are very loud. But... I... I do know quite a bit about the Dragon King, him and his family. Mm. Oh. Oh. Here, 
drink some more tea and I, I can tell you, just give me a moment. The fact of the matter is, the Dragon King is one of many, many people that you would not want to meet anywhere. But the Dragon King happens to hate humans, and he wishes to make all other monsters fall subject to him. In the Dragon King's eyes, all must worship him. He is very power hungry, though I suppose it can't be helped when you come from a long, long line of wicked people. I have done some tracing in his genealogy, and I know for a fact that he is related to the Serpent King Zahak mm -hmm. of the Persian mythology. Very, very unpleasant. <sighs> but yes, the Dragon King is just as unpleasant as his, as his lineage. Greedy, ruthless, and cruel. He was set up to power around the 14th Aeon under the year of the Chimera. He was born to the Lord Helsmior of the Southern Kingdom, and his mother was the Duchess Belladonna of the Eastern Providence. Well, as is with dragons, they tend to have many, many children, and the Dragon King himself is their youngest child. Well, hereditarily speaking, he is the youngest of a brood of 17. Yes. Some of his, his older siblings have been killed off and slayed, and others are left. Last time I studied and partook in research in the academy, um, I read that it was him and five other of his siblings that had survived the great uh, scourging of the Order. And the Order is also fairly unpleasant, as they believe all monsters are corrupt and wicked creatures. Mm. Quite unpleasant. And... Well, they are also under the influence of the two-faced hypocrite. How do I know this? Because the leader of the Order is obsessed with monsters. And I have only spoken with him a few times through letters that he has sent in an attempt to seek my aid and help. And I have refused him many times because I don't think humans and monsters ought to be at each other's throats. Granted, we are in an era of peace, but it seems like many of them wish to resolve to the old ways again. Back when humans and monsters were against each other, hunting and fighting and killing one another. We cannot go back to such a dark, primitive age of unpleasantry. Because it benefited neither of us. You understand, don't you? Good. I hope that answered your question. Again, I know everything. Anything and everything. History, culture, mathematicals, clairvoyancy, magic, anything. So if you want to ask me more questions, I'm quite literally an open book. Are there other people of high society like the Dragon King? Oh, of course, there's plenty. There have been some kings and queens that I've studied of. Some are benevolent and some are distinctly not benevolent or benevolent to an extent. None are, none are as bad as the fairies, mind you. Fairies, huh. Although they can be benevolent, will backstab you at the drop of a hat. I speak, of course, from experience, and... Huh. My house seems to be very haunted this evening. I'm terribly sorry. 
don't worry. The voices are beneficial. They mean no harm. They're just very, very loud. But they, they make life interesting. <laughs> what are some other people I know of? Mm, do you want to know good characters or bad characters? Because I've already told you about the Order and the Dragon King. And they're both very, very bad. Ah. Alright, that's much more happier. Good characters, let's see. I know Queen Cinderella of the First Kingdom in the Western Providence of Librian. Mm -hmm. She's 200 years old, believe it or not. A lot of people say she looks younger than than her age, but that's only because of magic surgery. Yes, magic surgery is a thing. It is somewhat of a practice, but truthfully, when I start getting my first white hairs, I will be doing a happy dance. Because with us Haku Takus, white hair is a sign of wisdom. It shows that you've been alive for a very long time and you're of the age where you can share that wisdom with the people you've met and with your family. I think it's very romantic. Oh dear, are we out of tea? Oh, we are. My goodness gracious. Time certainly flies when you're talking and drinking tea. But yes, I know Queen Cinderella. I know... The Queen Belle and her husband, the former Beast. Queen Rapunzel, absolutely delightful. And, well, truthfully, I'm actually working on a project for, <coughs> for the Queen Sleeping Beauty and her husband. Oh. What am I working on for them? Well, it's actually kind of tragic. Let me ask you. Ah, ah you know how Sleeping Beauty slept for a thousand years and was cursed to sleep forever until the prince came and found her? Well... The spell affected the entire kingdom, and unfortunately, a side effect of that curse has resulted in infertility in the women of that kingdom. It is a very, very tragic thing, but it cannot be helped, but I at least intend to help. If I am able to do so, I just want to make sure that I can fulfill the bargain. They... I'm sorry, I'm blathering, my wires are getting crossed as it were. But they want me to find a cure for the infertility. And so, I am trying who find an elixir recipe or a spell that might undo the infertility in the women of that kingdom. Well, I know it is one of the kingdoms. It's just I'm having a hard time remembering. It'll come to me eventually, though. Uh, tell me, do you have anywhere to go? Ah. Uh. I see. Well, I have a proposition for you. How would you feel about being my apprentice? It wouldn't cost you anything. If anything, you would be fed, you would be clothed, you would be taken care of, you'd have a roof over your head, and I'd even pay you an allowance. And when you felt like you had enough, you could leave. So. Yes, I am serious. 
Truthfully, I've been kind of lonely. I know my house is haunted on occasion, but I miss interacting with people, monsters and humans alike. So, how about it? Would you like to be my apprentice?